always have to do a little stretch before my videos warm up. Mm -hmm. Do you want to learn how to make two great classic gin cocktails? They use pretty much the same ingredients and they're fairly easy to make. Citrusy, refreshing, easy drinking, and they fall under what I like to call should know cocktails, especially if you're a working bartender. Actually, if you're a craft cocktail bartender, you definitely need to stick around if you don't know these. And even if you do know them, still stick around. It'll be a good time. Let's make the White Lady and Pegu Club. Okay, first up is the Pegu Club. This cocktail dates back to the early 20th century. It is named after a British social club in what used to be called Burma, today's Myanmar. And here's a fun fact. This is one out of three classic gin cocktails that are named after social clubs, at least that I can think of. The other two being the Pendennis and the Clover Club. Huh. And if you want to learn how to make those cocktails, I made videos on them as well. These two. Don't tell anyone. Actually, tell everyone. Also worth mentioning is the famous cocktail bar Pegu Club on Houston Street in New York. I'm lucky to be able to say that I've been there a few times, but I'm sad to say that during the pandemic, they had to permanently close their doors, just like so many other bars and restaurants. Next up is the White Lady. This cocktail also dates back to somewhere around the 1920s, but this time in Europe. And this is what I like to call the Harry versus Harry fight. Harry McKellen and Harry Craddock were both pioneering bartenders during the early 1900s, and they're both credited with creating this cocktail. Harry McKellen created a couple of different versions before he got to the recipe that is most similar to the one that we use today, and Harry Craddock created the one that we can find in his famous Savoy cocktail book. However, there's a lot more to the story, and there are many more bartenders claiming this cocktail, but it's just too much information. I can't handle it. <sighs> now, where was I? Let's see if I can explain the ingredients without being too complicated. Both of the cocktails, both Pegu Club and White Lady, will be using gin and a triple sec. Triple sec or an orange liqueur, whatever you have, a dry curacao. I'm using Combier, which is very similar to Cointreau. For my gin, I'm using a London dry style gin, which is a very crisp, straightforward gin that I like to use for cocktails like this. For the White Lady, which is over on this side, we'll be using fresh lemon juice and an egg white, or in my case, I'll be using aquafaba. Aquafaba is the water that comes from a can of chickpeas. I know it sounds really weird, but this is very common in the vegan and vegetarian world to use to emulsify a cocktail, which is what you do when you use an egg white. You get that frothy, silky texture, which is really nice. But if you don't want to do egg white or aquafaba in your White Lady, don't worry about it. It will still be a White Lady. Now for the Pegu Club. In the Pegu Club, we'll be using Angostura and orange bitters and lime juice, not lemon, lime juice instead, and no egg white or no aquafaba. And then the final ingredient, just because I like to add a little bit of sweetness to balance these drinks out, I'll be making them exactly the same way or exactly the same measurements with citrus and liqueur, but I'm also gonna add a little bit of simple syrup just because I like that balance of uh, sweet and sour and it also gives the cocktail a little bit more texture. But if you don't want any simple syrup, don't worry about it. You can leave that out. One dash of Angostura bitters and one dash of orange bitters. Three quarter ounce of your orange liqueur. Quarter ounce of your simple syrup. Three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice. I'll leave a link down below for the juice press. One and a half ounce of your gin. Three quarter ounce of your orange liqueur. Quarter ounce simple syrup. One ounce of aquafaba or one egg white if you have that. Three quarter ounce fresh lemon juice. One and a half ounce of gin. Okay, so here's my conclusion. 
Pega Club is a little bit more tart, more orange forward, probably because of the orange bitters in there. It also has a little bit of bacon spice because of the Angostura. The White Lady, different texture, creamier, silkier, a little bit rounder, meaning a little bit sweeter. But when I say that, it doesn't mean that it's a sweet cocktail. It's just not as tart as the Pegu Club. So whichever you prefer is probably a texture thing or if you prefer it really tart. Because for me personally, I can say I prefer the White Lady like this because it's a little bit rounder. But then again, all of our palettes are different, so you can balance these however you like. If you want it sweeter, you put more sugar in there or more orange liqueur or the other way around. It's up to you. I appreciate you watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Shingling. That means toodaloo, I guess, in Swedish.